Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the Bridge Broadcast Show. This is your host, Tina Boyle-White, and I am, oh my God, excited to be here. This is, um, it's kind of bittersweet. Um, this is the for this uh, season four. Um, it has been amazing, and, and it would have been amazing had I not had the, the honor to be with WYTV7, Christian Broadcasters Network Incorporated. And we're so blessed that uh, we are uh, allowed as the bridge broadcast show to just come and be with you all, you know, around the world in remote places um, and just to spend time with you in such a critical time. And we're just so grateful that, you know, this has been us and, you know, we can't take that. And so today is, is, is bittersweet in the sense that it's coming to an end for the season because Mariah has been hanging out with me and she's just been a blessing to me uh, and WITV7 and, and the, the audience. I just know that many of you may not have said anything, sent us anything. We just know that we've dropped an eternal seed in the soil of, of many souls and many spirits. And we're just, we're just grateful. And you know, we don't look for our reward here. We, we, our reward is eternal. And, and there was a season that I was like, well, nobody's calling or nobody's reaching out, but that's okay. If I dropped a seed in your spirit, you know what, God's going to multiply it. He, you know, he, he, you know, some, some seeds, some water, but God ultimately brings the, 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 the increase. And, and so I am just free to say, God, bring the increase. I decree increase over everyone who listens to this recording under the shadow or under the sounds of my voice. I decree blessings. I decree multiplication. I decree transformation, transition. I decree creativity. I decree authority, dominion, power. Oh God, through God. And I decree that you will give God the glory back. He will get the glory for what has happened in this season. Oh, my God. What an opening. <laughs> Mariah, what you got to say, girl? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> That's what we got. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, he has, he has brought um, such beautiful seeds, seeds of this season. And it's so perfect. We're in the springtime where these seeds have been planted and now the rains are coming yeah. and here we come rain, um, that we're gonna, yeah, nourish those seeds, more sunlight with the sun, summer coming. And, um, yeah, there's, there's many seeds that are being planted as we speak and, and into, yeah, all of our viewers and listeners and, um, and in ourselves, I think, you know, with this time that we're just in a transformative time and, um, the seeds, the seeds in our soul. So yeah, I've, I've been so blessed to, to be here with you, Tina and WYTV7. And, um, a real seed has been grown in me through this experience. Um, you know, I'm just starting out my first year of naturopathic medics, medical school and, um, it's medical school, right? And um, it's just been so incredible to be able to share the knowledge that, um, you know, just reading books after books and lectures, it's so wonderful to be able to, to speak and, and, and um, you know, be able to connect and, and um, you know, make that relationship. You know, I, I came into healthcare and into the medical field because, because I genuinely have such a heart and a spirit for one people to be ignited, be full of light and full of love and hope and health and happiness. And, and I'm so grateful that we've been able to nourish those seeds here on the show and on the bridge. And, and I love the bridge of, you know, from where you are to where you want to be and growing that seed. So yeah, this has been seriously an incredible time. Oh, Mariah. Thank you so much for, you know, for those words. It, it just, it just really touches my heart. And, you know, in this life, we, you know, we, we, we are walking this life, you know, we're, we're, we're reminded that we're pilgrims on this journey. And um, we, we are, you know, we're in the world, but we're not of this world. You know, when you think about this 
we're we're spiritual beings having a physical experience mm -hmm. you know not that we're physical beings having a spiritual experience no we we are here for but a moment and you know in a, in a our life is but a vapor and you know you think about what do you do what are you doing with that time what are you doing with you know we're we we're in a season of what you're doing in your time and and how are you using your time and you know life as we've known it has changed and we have a new normal and today we want to talk about how do you function in that new normal and and we'll we'll, we'll go back and forth with some tips on how to survive in the new normal you know, there's many people who may be listening to this that were business owners. Um, you know, there's a new normal. Many people who had restaurants, there's a new normal around the world. Um, and so, you know, as we transition into this new normal, we want to talk about what are some practical things that we can do to help us as we transition to this new normal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and there's, there's with that new normal um, and just us being children of the spirit and children of God, you know, we, we are leaders. We are, we're all given the same spirit and, and, you know, we choose what to do with it and we choose who nourishes and who feeds our soul and, and just allowing the Holy Spirit to feed our soul, but to come together, but um, to know that, um, we are powerful. We are powerful beings with our with our minds and um, and just allowing yourself to to fill it up with with scriptures, with His Word, um, and also just affirmative I am statements. And um, you know, a lot of successful businessmen, women, um, you know, they, f they fill their minds with um, staying on track, keeping keeping a schedule. Um, you know visualizing, visualizing um, these visions to come into play um, and to really to give gratitude every day of, um, you know, sm even just small things that, that we are, um, that we are growing in, in, in gratitude. And you can see that transformational seed growing and, and to acknowledge that, to know that you are being transformed and you are being changed and stretched and, um, yeah, yeah, to be grown towards greatness. You know, it, it is a beautiful thing to be grown toward greatness, you know, and you, you mentioned, you know, that we're leaders. We, we are leaders. We are leaders and we, we're light. We are light. I mean, leaders of light. Yes. Just, <laughs> oh my God, he says, let your light shine. Let your soul, let your light shine. You know, when we when we think about light shining and and you know practices you know how are you loving every day how are you using this time we're such a community type of people you know we're social beings but we have to social distance you know as we're wrapping up this this season but you know how do i let my light shine can i can i send somebody a letter you know can i call them up can i do a zoom we can't you know thank god he gave some you know, this, this knowledge of technology, you think back to, you probably weren't born Mariah, but you know, Y2K, you know, we thought the world was ending. <laughs> you know, what happened as a result of this is, you know, I, I remember that, uh, you know, technology just, this is so advanced. And, you know, for such a time of, as this, we're, we're able to be productive in such a time as this. And so, you know, we roll right into gratitude and just being thankful. I'm just, I'm just thankful that I can get online and, you know, um, you know, I can talk to friends, family and encourage them. I'm thankful that I can work remotely. I'm thank you, thankful that I can learn remotely. I can teach remotely. It's just, you know, it's just such a blessing. And, and, you know, when you think about gratitude and, you know, just being thankful, you know, it just shifts and it raises your energy to a whole nother level. Amen. It does. I've, I've noticed when, um, you know, just knocking on a friend's door or, or being able to call up a friend, you know, it's so wonderful being on, on like FaceTime or video, like you said, and just being able to, um, you know, have those seeds of, of leadership and light to, um, 
to nourish one another. Yeah, I, I, I'm grateful that I'm here at school still and that we have classes online. Um, I'm grateful that, you know, my, my friends and are, you know, still here and we have a small community here. Um, I'm grateful that my, my family, they're safe and doing their thing back home. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm so grateful to even just be able to get outside on a walk and, and spend more quality time, it seems like. Um, with, and, and yeah, grateful to keep, keep my routine and, and rhythm and um, just stay grounded through all of this. Yeah, yeah, so grateful to um, yeah, connect with people who I maybe haven't talked to in a while or they're on the other side of the world. Um, yeah, and, and I even, I, I, uh, I used to have a gratitude wall where I would wake up each morning and, and write down and then just be able to, you know, have that affirmative statement of, you know, what, what's the biggest thing on my heart today, right, right now. And so to just start your day with gratitude and, and um, even breath, like the breath of life to inhale peace and to exhale any fear and um, to face fears and um, deeply inhale your life's purpose. And, um, you know, I, I was listening to uh, Mel Gibbons. She has studied psychology for a while and she transformed her life with she calls it the five second rule that she started waking up when her alarm w would go up she would count five four three two and one and then when you get to one that's a start off point so she would get out of bed and then she noticed throughout her day small instances where you know she had a division she had a divide of i could go this way or this way and you know she would just count down the five, four, three, two, one. And um, when you when you do that, you have that decision. So you, our our brains are meant to keep us safe, and so we want to stay comfortable. And so when we're in those times of change and transformation, it can seem uncomfortable. And and but when you when you have that sound mind, when you know God gives us that spirit of peace love and a sound mind and um but using practical tools and tips so you know if you get yourself in a situation quickly you know five four three two one and just go for it you know talk to that cute guy talk to that cute girl um you know make uh go out on a walk if you feel like running just get your shoes on and go um if you feel like making a healthy salad you know hey you know, ask your friend or your loved one at home, you want one too, and just, just do it. Just go with that initial gut feeling and, and follow what the Holy Spirit has planted in you and run with it. My Mariah, you said a mouthful. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you for those who are by themselves in this time, you know, really just taking some time to get to know yourself and loving yourself and, and, you know, thinking of, of, of those memories, whether good or bad, because they both came to make you strong, being grateful for those, uh, those times. Um, you know, and I'm just thinking about, uh, even thinking about memories, you know, even if you have to cry it out or get it out, but just, you know, uh, it does, does you know, no good to, to dwell on them, but see the growth that it brings. I'm, I'm thinking about couples and families that are quarantined together, um, you know, um, just just having that time, you know, where you're spending and really listening to one another and communicating with one another and just growing with one another. This this could be either a very peaceful time or a very tumultuous time. But, you know, change, you know, your world doesn't change until you change yourself. And that's that internal transformation that, you know, that is critical in this hour and this time where we could just really just take and cross over that bridge and just really seeing the other side, you know, just, just, it's almost like a purging. It's like a purging and a cleansing time that is really, really critical to, to our growth. And, you know, um, people who have been sitting and sitting on that nail and you know, the nail is hurting you. This is the time to, to do something different. This is the, the time to see your God giving you know, your divineness and, and see what God has for you and just listen in the stillness because I promise you there's going to be some great creativity that comes out of this time. You know, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. 
mm, they, it has not entered into the hearts of the of men, the things that he's prepared for us. And it's not just heaven. I just believe there's there's something that he has for many of us. You know, they say the cemetery or the, the, the cemetery down the road is the wealthiest place in the world. And why is that? You died with a book or you died with a creative idea that I didn't get, or you died with an invention. You died with something. What do you have to give? And this is a season where you just empty yourself out and just give of yourself. Just give of yourself in this season because this is a beautiful time to allow yourself to grow into something God is calling you to grow into. Amen. Yes, yes. I I, I feel... At this time, um, you know, God has given me the spirit of growth in um, definitely, definitely myself and as as a daughter of his, but as a daughter in my family, as as a sister to my sister, um, you know, and and um, growing in growing in, you know, what is it that truly ignites my fire? What what is the calling on my heart? What do I, you know, I've we um i've had yeah some really deep good conversations with friends and just really knowing who you are and um you know i'm i feel like i am a positive light and and have we have all have so much to give and just knowing like you know what are we going to do about that and um I, I love being able to share it here. I love being able to um, put put that love and light into my studies, and and I'm growing here for the next four years as a naturopathic student, and um, yeah, just really trying to make the most of each day. You know, how can I, um, you know, I, I try to ask my um, the Holy Spirit as well each morning. You know, what do you what do you have on my day? What what's your plan for the day? Like I I open my myself up to you and and just allow those creative spirits to flow. You know, maybe it's maybe it's trying to play a few strings on the guitar, um, or maybe it's you know doing a little doodle or coloring um just get out something um maybe it's singing while you're making lunch uh you know just allow yourself allow yourself to whatever is whatever you're feeling let it let it out and just try something new wow mariah you couldn't have said it you couldn't have said it any better and you couldn't have brought this season to a close for us any better and you know what i'm just going to close this I, I i put some decrees out there but i'm just going to close this season out with a prayer of blessing and i pray that those of you who are listening that you will you will come to get the peace of uh, of god in your life and that um you will receive all that God has for you in this season. So we're going to close out in prayer. Father, I thank you for this time. I thank you for this season that you've given us. I pray that you bless Mariah and bless WYTV7 for the seeds that they're sowing. Father, may it return some 30, 60, or 100 fold. And Father, I pray that every seed that we've sown this season, um, that it may hit the soil and it may produce also some 30, 60, uh, or 100 fold. Father, I pray that peace is multiplied amongst your people. I pray that uh, your you will get the glory out of their lives, and they will they will begin to do things that they would have never imagined. Father, I thank you that um, your people will be lights to those places and that are dark. Father, I thank you that you increase creativity, creativity in the land of your people. And Father, most importantly, thank you for giving us this time. Father, what we do with our lives and how we listen to the Holy Spirit. May it bring you glory in Jesus name. We pray. Amen. Well, Mariah, thank you so much. You've been a blessing this season. Um, may your studies be increased. May you get A plus pluses. <laughs> may you, may you just have your heart's desire. Any last words you have to say before we close? I'm just filled with so much gratitude. I, I, I'm, um, just feel like my heart is just overflowing with love and, and gratitude and peace and um blessed 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 to be with you tina and to be with all of you so i just so much love to all of you and i thank you thank you guys for listening and i can't wait to yeah just see what tomorrow brings amen, amen. well blessings to you uh, to my audience, may, may there be many blessings to you. Uh, until the next season, we will see you again. Don't hesitate to reach out. But if we don't, if you don't, we know that we've planted eternal seed uh, in, in your soil. 
God bless you. We'll see you soon.